At the recently held Women Entrepreneurship Access Center training supported by the U.S. Department of State in Livingston, Southern Province, Minister Colonel Muetwa notes that women have time immemorial been known to be entrepreneurs who have been driving economies in communities at small scale level. Mr. Muetwa adds, it is such business skills and traits women possess that would be sharpened and financially be supported for them to grow on a larger scale and favorably compete with men. He states that the UPND government will focus on women entrepreneurs' activities and support their businesses through provision of equitable women empowerment fund and initiatives. Firing stands at the recently held Women Entrepreneurship Training in Livingston under the U.S. Department of State Supported Women Entrepreneurship Access Center program. Speaking when he officiated at the event, Mr. Mwetwa observed the need to empower women with business skill and technical know-how before they are empowered financially. Women entrepreneurs are an emerging force in Zambia's economy. They represent a vast and untapped source of innovation, job creation, and economic growth for our country. However, they still face a number of challenges such as inadequate access to startup capital, inadequate policies supportive of women's entrepreneurship development and cultural norms that are not supportive of women entrepreneurs. To address these challenges, there is a need to have programs such as the Academy for Women Entrepreneurs that combines skills and management. He says government has noted the role women play in economic development, hence it will support any program that responds to that cause. The CDF, which has been increased from 1.6 million quarter to now 25.7 million quarter, is actually in two brackets. The first one being 15 million quarter is directly for CDF related programs and projects such as infrastructure development. And the 10.7 is not to be found anywhere near infrastructure development, but human development, particularly youth and women. And U.S. Embassy representative says with right information and skills, the economic gap existing between men and women can be bridged. Business challenges which we are now all overcome. A round of applause to all the Jews. Honorable guest of Vanessa, we are empowered to go forth and start our business ideas. We are ready to turn the ink on our business the Women Entrepreneurship Training Program focuses on building women entrepreneurs who are able to become self-sustainable and contribute positively to economic development of the country. Muya Mukomputa, Movie TV News, Livingston. Kazungula District Crop and Animal Husbandry Officer Silvasi Shibulo says the Ministry of Agriculture is consistently monitoring the law.